In the last video I showed you how to get everything installed so you can use Amethyst in Microsoft Visual Studio to develop Flash-based games using the Starling framework. Now let's move on a bit and try and create a first Starling project. This won't be a game, it's just going to be the most basic possible Starling-based program. So in Amethyst select File, New, Project, Amethyst, Action Script, Action Script application. And if you want, you can browse to a directory in which to create it. I'll just accept the default for now. And there's my solution. Now, you'll need to add a reference to the Starling SWC. And to do that, right click References, Add Reference. And then you'll need to browse to the SWC in whichever directory you install Starling under the Starling bin subdirectory. Now right click the project node in Solution Explorer and select add, add action script class. Uh, I'll call this game. Click add. Now I'll open the class in the editor and I'm going to, first of all, just above the Class declaration, I'm going to import Starling display and the sprite class, and I'll make my game uh, extend it so it descends from the sprite class. And let me just edit the game class. I'm adding an event listener so that something actually happens. We're not uh, doing a game, as I said, but we want something to happen when we run it. So put in the Starling event. Add it to stage, define an event handler for it. I'm using an internal build of the Amethyst ID here as we're developing new versions, and this actually adds the function, the event handler function, automatically for me. If you're using Amethyst 1.6, you'll have to write the function yourself at this stage. So I just now want to put in a simple trace here. just to show that, show that something happens when we run it. Now let me open the main action script file and I'll do some editing here. I'll put a uh, private variable up here. It's going to be an object of the Starling type. And down here, I just need to create it. With these arguments. If you read the Starling documentation, which I'm not going to go over in great detail here, it'll explain all the syntax and why I'm doing uh, this sort of coding. But my, my aim here is not to do it tutorial on the Starling framework itself, but just to show you how to use it in Amethyst. And I start it. Right, and finally, I think I'll just put a breakpoint on this trace statement. Okay, so I click this button to start running and debugging. And I wait, and oops. So there's something wrong. It says the application is not correctly embedded. It's got the wrong W mode value. W mode is a parameter that is passed to the Flash player, and it turns out that it needs to be set to direct with Starling. So how do I fix that? 
Well, I go into Project Properties, and there's a launch page. This will be, again, slightly different depending on which version of Amethyst you are using, but the principles are the same. So in the launch page, I need to set it to use the template. Now, a template is an HTML page that can contain special attributes uh, that can be substituted when the web page is created from the template. Now, you can browse to a template, and you can use the default template, if you like, as I'm doing here. You'll find that in program data under Sapphire Steel software, and it's just called launchpage.htm. And now I need to modify the parameter that's causing the problem. It's set to opaque. I need it set to direct. So I just edit it here, save everything, and try running it again, running with debugging. There'll be nothing much to see because this, as I said, there's not real game, but it's, it's run. I haven't had the problem. And now I can continue debugging by stepping through my code, or here I just press press this button to continue and you can see that the trace message is printed out in the output window. So that's basically how to get started with Starling in Amethyst but now you'll want to go on and develop proper games and so you'll need some extra help. There's plenty of resources on the web and I suggest first of all you go to the Gamua Starling website and that's got lots of reference documentations and extra guidance for building your games. And so start there and read the API and follow the various tutorials. And another great place to go is to Hemant Sharma's website. He's a, an Adobe evangelist and he's got an excellent series of tutorials complete with the code and images that you need to create a fully working game called Hungry Hero. And his tutorials assume you're using Flash Builder but now that you've got Starling set up for Amethyst you can follow along right inside Visual Studio. For more information on Amethyst, go to the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.